Hey buddies, Mr. Puggy here, coming after another Wonderlands video. Now the item we're talking about today is going to be the Cape of Tides. Now the Cape of Tides is a lovely armor piece because as far as I'm aware from all I've seen on everyone equipping it, it gives you this fantastic outfit that has a nice cape. So no matter what you have, you'll get a little cape, which is very nice. A lot of people like capes. <laughs> so this is one of the more fashionable choices for screenshots and everything. Well, let's actually talk about what the armor piece can actually do. So essentially when you get a crit, it has a 25% chance to spawn a water nova. This basically applies soaked. And what the soak mechanic does allows you to then deal more damage with lightning and frost, but less damage with fire. And keep in mind that this isn't a 150% damage increase. It's written a little weird. It's only a 50% damage increase from lightning and fire, but it also increases the duration of the soak effects as well. Now the critical hits, as far as I'm aware, is able to proc on everything. I've been able to get it procced off my action skills, my spells, my guns, my melees. So it's able to proc off everything. But before we get into the meat and potatoes of the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch on top right. You have no idea how much helps me out, and let's get into it. Legendary? Whoa! No way! Dude. Very fun, especially for my Blizzard build, because then I can get random little water novas to proc like right there that was a great example and then the blizzards are going to start dealing large amounts of damage because then they have the soak effect which allows them to deal or to take more damage from cryo and lightning as i said before there's a nice example as well now the nova itself i don't think does a substantial amount of damage i'm not 100 certain if it even does damage because i've tried my best to see any little pieces of damage that comes out of the enemy extra when the nova's actually proc so it really probably is only for the hey i applied soak to the enemy which you, you know it's a debuff so you know that's all it really needs to do but it would be nice if the nova did a little bit of damage at first i thought it dealt a dot to the enemies but that was just placebo so as far as I'm aware, it's just applying the debuff and nothing else. You couldn't get like a million Novas of rock on an enemy and then deal lots of damage unless I'm seeing it wrong. But, <laughs> you know, maybe someone can correct me in the comments for that. Now, this armor is going to be really, really good for any build that uses lightning or frost. And I don't know if you guys are familiar <laughs> with the Wonderlands meta, but a lot of builds use frost and lightning, like live wire interaction use lightning. A lot of builds in general just use frost. Like like frost is a good element. It does great amount of damage in this game. So it just go is going to take your frost builds, which is most builds, <laughs> to the next level. As far as I'm aware, that's just free 50% more frost damage just passively, really. And it's not necessarily passively because you have to get the soaked on, but you're going to get critical hits very easily because it's the way that critical hits are able to happen no matter where you hit the target. So it's really, really good. I I'd say it's probably competitive to the smart armor. I would have to do some testing, DPS checking to see if it really is, but it's definitely going to be an upgrade for most of the builds I've done. Like my most recent shock build, I probably want to use the Cape of Tides. Like I said, my Blizzard build right now, the when they are have the soaked on them, they take a ton of damage, like a lot more damage. And normally a Blizzard isn't able to like kill targets really quickly, but you know, obviously with this upgrade, it's not killing super duper quickly, but it is able to allow them to kill a little bit quicker, which is a nice little tool to have, as well as just making any cryo item that you use just deal a little bit more damage, which is always nice for min-maxing stuff. You'll especially see the water novas happen pretty frequently if you're using a high projectile weapon like I have here. This is the nightshade, shoots lots of projectiles pretty quickly. So I'm going to shoot a couple times. You saw the nova procced and then he instantly died, or I guess I should say see she, but <laughs> you're going to see the novas really, really frequently frequently if you use a high projectile gun. What's also nice is if you apply a dot on the enemy, you know, dots can crit as well. So those crits can also apply the water Nova occasionally as well. Right there, we got the Nova to proc off of just the dot, which is super nice. So you could potentially just hit an enemy once randomly and then you're going to get the water nova and then you're just going to see your damage increase further more than likely a must have on a lot of builds and i'm not even using an appropriate cape of tides and i'm dealing lots of damage with cryo 
just because of this nice little debuff. This item has a dedicated loot drop source from the Chum of Old Gods in the Wheel of Fate. These two locations were dedicated loot drop sources that are now known through data mining, so keep that in mind. And you don't have to do any particular tier. So right now you could go farm Chum and get the Cape of Tides, but just like all the other items from this DLC, you can also get them through World Drop, so you could go get them through the Chaos Bunnies as well. Probably honestly get it a little bit quicker through the Chaos Bunnies. And as always, a big shout out to the members who make these videos possible. We have Jason Noodles, Clairvoyance, Rick and Glacia, Super Noob, Josh Dig, 31 Bar 70, Doorman Tazzy, Grey Wolf, and Wishkeeper. These are the people who support me as little as $5 a month, and you can also support me as little as $5 a month by clicking the link in the comments or description or in the top right to become a member. The more members we have, the closer I get to become a full time, which means more videos for you guys. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day. <laughs> bye bye. And the last shall be First to immerse in a pass out heat Facing him up with a moxie melt Till he woke up drowning in tchotchke hell Born a cave with a torch on a wall Then a window arrangement of porcelain doll